Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, I've had a lot of sales on these cutoff tools. A lot of people are buying them, a lot of good feedback. In fact, I don't think I've had any negative feedback. I had a couple of tool holders that didn't fit quite right, but other than that, it's been a really good success. I appreciate your support and, and trust. Anyway, I've had some uh, requests for this size tool holder. It's a real small OXA tool holder for mini lathes. Uh, they're probably not very good for cutoff, and a spring cutoff might work pretty good. I don't, don't really know. We're going to give it a try, and I'll have to have somebody else test it because I don't have a lathe this size. But anyway, let me show you. I'm going to do it a little different this time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, these are some crude drawings, not perfected yet. Partly because I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. But I'm looking at making a block of steel that sits over the top of that and bolts onto the top. I don't know if that's clear or not. This would be a top view. Uh, a view from the end. But anyway, I got this block of steel cut. It's, it's three quarter inch by the length of that, which is about two and an eighth. And we got to, the first thing we're going to do is cut that slot for the blade. Well, here's my steel, and I got to cut a slot in here, slightly skewed like that, to give it some back rake or top rake. To do that, this is the width of the tool, tool holder. To do that, I got a couple of shims here. 1 16th each, 1 16th inch. So I want it about right there, skewed that direction. So I'm going to put a shim right here and a shim right here. Just like that. I think that'll be about right. Hopefully that'll hold. I think it will. Okay, I already found the edge of this stock right there and zeroed my DRO, so I need to go uh, 1.3 inches. 1.35, I think. There's 1.35. Okay, this is the blade I'm using right there. And I've already cut a slot. Normally it's a good idea if you need a half inch slot to make it slightly smaller and then mill it to the final width. But I cut a slot in that and that's a really good fit. So I'm just going to cut a half inch slot and then I'll have to cut a relief for this. It's a T-shaped blade. I'll have to cut a relief for this wider portion at the top right here. And that'll be a little tricky, but it's doable. So I've got the stock position just right depth-wise on my y-axis. Now I need to touch off to the surface and then go I think 70 thousandths deep. Okay, the blade I'm going to use is actually about 80 thousandths. So I'm going to go 100 thousandths deep. Which is a little deeper than necessary, but it'll work out good I think. Need to go there we go Okay, I need to go not very deep, but it's not very critical either. Where's that fit right there? Well, that'll do it. I'll just deburr that. Boy, that's got it. Okay. 
now I'm going to mill all this out. And this is the most questionable part of this. Uh, I don't know if it's worth, worth the effort to do this versus welding it on or like welding a little section on here or bolting it together. But I'm going to try it. Okay, we need to go a half inch deep. So I'm going to touch off here. Zero DRO. Probably go a hundred thousand better time, I guess. Need to go a half inch deep. Well, that there, it's a little bit thinner than I intended, but it might be okay. It also looks like it's out of square. Yeah, this may not be the, the best approach. It's a little bit out of square, probably due to all the milling I did. I gotta touch that off right there. Okay, that should square it up pretty good. Looks better. Okay, we got zero on the back and zero on the end. Now I gotta drill some holes. Okay, I need to go 480 in. Okay, I'm making this feature right there. I'm thinking about plunge cutting, I, I don't know. I think what I need to do is plunge a little bit at a time. Yeah, let's see if I got my holes lined up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now all I gotta do is cut a spring in it. It's a slot right there and a relief hole. And that's kind of like, uh, not really sure where it needs to be. Let me think about this. It's centered seven eighths of an inch in for the spring. I don't know if that's right or not. We'll just have to try it and see. Okay, I've got a three sixteenths end mill in there to cut a slot with. Slot width is not critical. That'll work. Okay, I've got to drill a hole and and mill a slot there for this washer. I've got a 40 thousandths blade and I've got a 80 thousandths blade. I got to make sure they both clamp. Hmm. 
Okay. Lock the table. Lock the knee. Here we go. Okay, I put a countersink screw in there, which is kind of weird, but looks kind of weird. But it allowed that washer to push down on the blade and it locks it in really well. It allowed the washer to do like that and have even clamping pressure. You can see with the button head screw, it's got a gap right here. So it's only clamping on the this side and not, not the blade side where it needs to. I probably made that too much of an angle right there, but I wanted to make it so it would hold two different blades. Uh, but the countersink resolves the problem. And this is just a prototype anyway. Well, I stuck that countersink in the drill and ground down the edge. It'd be a little lower profile like that. Height adjustment's a little hard to get to, but set it one time and forget it, though. Well, that about wraps it up for today. I'm going to have a, a guy test this for me. It's a friend of mine, and we'll see how it does. Uh, if it does okay, I'll make the drawings available and maybe be making this. I may try a little different approach to making that. That's a whole lot of milling on this right here. And it's just time consuming and hard on end mills. Anyway, I've got uh, some AXA and BXA uh, cutoff tools available if you want them. They're on my web store. Uh, I'll put some links underneath in the, in the description. Uh, thanks for all the people that have bought it already. Uh, had some really good reviews. I'll post some of the reviews in the, in the description. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.